our deputies, first deputies arrived on the scene eight minutes after that, uh, those two 911 calls. Uh, we began, it's a large area, and we began to assist uh, the victims that we encountered. The first two victims, obviously, that we encountered were the two uh, air conditioning techs who were outside the home in the driveway at their work vans. Then we immediately began to assemble a team to clear the house of Dr. Robert Leslie. Uh, once we cleared the home, we, uh, we found Dr. Robert Leslie and his wife Barbara and their two grandchildren in a room in the back of the house, uh, all deceased with gunshot wounds. Uh, one living victim, uh, one of the uh, air conditioned techs, was transported from the scene uh, to EMS who could not make it to the area in a vehicle that was on the property, a truck. Shortly after uh, arriving on scene, we requested our uh, unmanned aerial system or a drone and uh, also our canine unit immediately to respond as well as the State Law Enforcement Division's helicopter for aerial support. Once the investigation began, uh, we were able to develop uh, Philip Adams as a suspect uh, in this incident. We also learned that Mr. Adams lived close uh, to, to where this incident took place, just down the road, about a quarter of a mile, maybe a little more. We were able later on in the evening to make contact with Mr. Adams' father, uh, who lived with the suspect at the time. We were able to move, remove uh, Mr. Adams and later Mrs. Adams from the home as we had a search warrant for the home and for Philip Adams at around 2.30 a.m. We confirmed uh, that Mr. Adams, Mr. Philip Adams, uh, that the suspect was deceased in a bedroom in the home. As I said before, and as Trent said, we're 22 hours into this investigation. We've gathered a lot of information. We have a lot more information to gather as, as to the why. In my uh, two priorities here are, uh, number one, to assure the citizens and the community in York County that uh, an armed man who uh, just shot six people is not on the loose. I assure the community that, that is the case. We feel like that we have uh, the individual who is responsible for this and that he is deceased. My second priority is to the family's uh, respect for their privacy and their grieving process. A little bit of information that I have about the suspect is that uh, we issued several traffic citations by our traffic unit in February of 2021. Those were minor charges. Uh, and then he has some pending criminal charges from 2016 that occurred in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina. Information about those traffic citations uh, are in your packets. I can't go without uh, thanking, thanking uh, our partners in law enforcement, the State Law Enforcement Division, the Rock Hill Police Department, the State Law Enforcement Division, Department of Homeland Security, the South Carolina Highway Patrol, the Chester County Sheriff's Office, and the many, many, many surrounding agencies who made contact with me and made contact with us throughout the evening to offer their assistance. We could not have had a successful uh, investigation that we did without those folks' help. And at this time, I'll, uh, I'll entertain some questions. Please be aware that there's not more, much more information that the family has been given or that we really know at this time. We have uh, not been able to verify that. Did he shoot and kill himself? You said you guys found him deceased. Yeah. Self-inflicted gunshot. We believe to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. To my left is Corner Sabrina Gash, and any any questions that might be directed uh, about the pathological um, situation or circumstances of Mr. Adams or or death cause of death can be. Here is our solicitor Kevin Brackett, who uh, was on scene last night as well. Andrew. Sheriff, I have a question. Um, can you talk about what evidence is found in the house of anything stolen or taken? And is it true that the suspect left a cell phone in the house and that it hasn't been found? So uh, we have not been able to determine that uh, anything was taken from the Leslie's residence. And uh, all, all, I, all I'm able to say right now is that uh, we did recover evidence at the scene that linked Mr. Adams uh, to that area so, uh, definitively. If I may just follow up, I know it's a two-part question. Is, can you say definitively or, or generally 
how the strategy developed so quickly as a suspect uh, so that you knew where you were going from there? By evidence that he left at the scene that we were able to immediately um, identify and, and connect him. Yes, sir. Um, when you guys are to serve the warrant, had he already killed himself by then, or were you guys still trying to negotiate the surrender and then he pulled the trigger? So we did not hear any gunshots. We did try to negotiate uh, and get him out of the room that he was in. We did not uh, receive what we believed to be a, um, an adequate response. So that's speculative as to whether or not he had uh, already uh, shot himself or he shot himself as we were arriving or while we were on scene. We did not hear any gunshots once we arrived. Did his uh, parents that believe that he was alive when they last time they saw him or when they that, him? That is what was um, relayed to us at the time, yes, sir. Were yes, his parents aware of what happened? At the time, no. Yes, sir. Any indication of how he got into the home? Did he break in or how did he get into that house? I will tell you, he forced entry. Yes, sir. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.